<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we've got something a little special planned. We haven't been to my uh, custom solar system in quite a while. As you can see, yeah, this is uh, my custom modded solar system with all the modded objects that we have made over the um, over the months. So it still has that modded Jupiter, that's probably going to get removed at some point. Obviously we've got the modded Uranus. Um, my custom planet 9 that's not modded we've got the modded venus the dust storm mars modded mercury modded pluto modded iris but today we are going to be doing a new edition so if some of you um guys haven't um seen my discord or heard about it there was a new dwarf planet discovered and what's unique about this dwarf planet is it's not like one of these guys out here just in the regular kuiper belt area this object belongs all the way out here it has an even more crazy orbit than Sedna. So we're going to be adding it in today. So, yeah, from what I've heard, it's only 300 kilometers in radius. It's also called, well, it's actually, its actual name is TG387, but it's also nicknamed the Goblin. So we'll be going with that name. And this guy takes 40,000 years to complete one orbit around the sun. I'll leave a link to the uh, new, or like the article I'm reading that one of you guys posted in my Discord. So I'll have links to that down below if you guys want to have a read. But yeah, this thing... Is crazy so i've got a special object template ready to use today so a massive thank you for mr miss lot for making this object on such um short notice and also um yeah special yeah special thanks to him but also apologies to my voice today it's a little uh broken i'm pretty sure you guys can tell it's a little uh funny but um, you should be able to still hear what i'm saying so it's all good right so this object is called yellow okay so there we go there it is there so it's this object here so i've got a custom yellow trail because we haven't actually got a yellow trailed object in here yet so i thought we would include it so there it is there so we're gonna throw it out here so yeah this guy is insane so we're gonna get its orbit and stuff set up first so i actually have a picture of what its orbit can look like and this thing's orbit is absolutely crazy it is very 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 strange in the way it works so let me just see here i'm just looking at the image i just want to try and get it exactly like the image has it so it sort of cuts into sedna's orbit but it goes a lot further and further out. So, okay. Oh my god, this thing is crazy. So, it, it goes hundreds and hundreds of ATM away at its furthest point. I don't know how they found this thing. This is crazy. So, okay, we'll have it go in this direction. Okay, so, we're going to have it, like, here. So, we're going to go all to orbit as well. Okay, like that. So, we're playing. Now, this thing has an absolutely insanely eccentric orbit. So, we need to put a massive value in this. So, if we do this... We're going to have to wait more than that. So, 10. Not that insane, but still insane. 4. Okay. 1. It has something like this. It's not as crazy as that. Um, so, yeah, we need to make that a little less. So, we're going to go 0 0.7. Here we go. Something a little similar to this. So 0 0.8. So it's very, very, very eccentric. It's a lot more crazy than Sedna has ever been. So... Let's see here. Is this going to... Okay, there we go. So I can move it. Okay, so I'm really going to try and get it as close to the image as possible. So it cuts into Neptune and it goes out again. Okay. Ooh, this is quite hard to do. Just looking at this image here. That is going to be quite hard to do. So it's got a really, really... Because there's obviously no stats on how we do it. I can't really obviously do it 100% accurate because also we don't know its exact all with just because of how far away it is and stuff so right i've got an image of it on the phone here so i can keep looking at it without while staying in universe sandbox so wow this thing is insane so it's sort of its orbit does sort of cut into sedna so we're going to make it a little smaller we've, we've got the year the year correct actually it takes about forty thousand years let me just see here so if i uh, scroll up again so it takes forty thousand years to complete an orbit so we need it around this area so forty thousand like that so now we just have to play with these numbers until we get it where we want. So that's going to take a bit of time to do. I'll have it a little inclined as well. Ooh. Yeah, this is... So it's something like this is what the um, image is showing me. I'm going to try and do it exactly like the image has done it. So... Okay, that's Sedna's orbit. Oh my god, this is... This is not easy to do, guys. So... Something like this. Yeah, if I'm look from the article what I'm looking at. Its orbit is something like this, like that. Yeah, that is absolutely spot on, actually. So it's actually even further since since it's forty thousand years. Okay, so we need to quickly adjust that to forty thousand again. So hopefully it won't. There we go. So that's fine. So this actually goes further out than what Planet Nine does. So Planet Nine's at seventeen right now. So damn, this thing is crazy. So. 
It also needs to be at 300 kilometers. It's around 300 kilometers, so we'll go 300. So, a very, very small little object. So, there they go. Yep, yeah, that orbit to me is pretty much spot on. So, that is good. And also, guys, I'd like to sort of hold a competition. This is also an idea Mr. Mislot said to me, and I actually really, really liked it. So, let's do a competition with this new um, object here. So, yeah, what's its name? I keep forgetting its name. It's really hard. So, its name is the Goblin. Also known as the TG387. That's its actual name. So we're going to do a little competition with this. Who can make the best one? So what I want to do is... We'll have about a week to do this or a few days, something like that. You guys all make this object for yourselves. And then send them in to me um, on Discord in like private messages or whatever. And then we're going to put them all in one video. We're going to put them all in one simulation all together. So we're going to do a video on it and we're going to um, decide which one of the objects is the best. So if you want to participate in this, literally just make the object, send it to me and uh, include the object in the simulation. So hopefully we can get a good amount of objects. So I know a lot of you guys do like making objects. So yeah, we'll do like a competition. Who can make the best one of the goblin? So there we go. So there we go. Let's enter its name in. I'm also going to throw a save in in case anything goes wrong. So there we go. Like that. So there we go, so I can replace, so an update to my custom solar system there. Yeah, I'm going to go with a yellow trail, I think that's pretty cool. So, TG387, I'll do that in brackets, because that's its actual name. So, there we go. So, TG387, like that. And then do that, and there we go. So that's its name done. So we've already got the um, radius correct. Now, it's going to be in permanent darkness the whole time, so its temperature is going to be the coldest it can go. So minus 270. Now, we can get on to customizing this. So the image that has been shown, for so the artist's sort of impression of this object, it shows a yellow, a yellow-like object. So if I just get the image I'm looking at. So where is it? Where is it? Where is it gone? Just look on Discord again quickly. So yeah, it has like a yellow and white sort of color theme to it, which is quite interesting. And it also has a white atmosphere. That's why um, I requested a white atmosphere with a yellow trailed object. So yeah, special thanks to Mr. Slot again. But yeah, it's going to be a white and yellow object seems to be the way this object has been presented by the artists. So that's what I'm going to do it. Obviously, we're not going to know the colour of this thing at all because it's so far away. It probably doesn't receive any light. No matter where it is from the sun, it probably is always in complete darkness. So we don't know this um, guy's colour. So we'll make it a little... Um, yeah, we'll make it yellow because we don't have a yellow sort of object. So a yellow and white like object. I don't want to go too much on the yellow because it's a little unrealistic. And I do want to make this quite realistic. So, okay, that's looking pretty fine actually with the white atmosphere as well. Obviously, we don't know if it has an atmosphere or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and include one. But yeah, the image that is shown in the um, concept art, it does have an atmosphere and it's a yellow surface. So pretty unique. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with the mid elevation... I'm going to go with like a dark sort of cyan colour, just a... Oh, no, that ruins it, no way. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that as white. This colour here, I'm going to go with like a dark sort of cyan. There you go, just add a bit of different... Um, or dark green. Just add, just add a bit of different colour, because the image also has... Um, yeah, where is it at? The image also shows a bit of like green sort of markings on a yellow surface with white areas. So, yeah, if you, if you guys um, know the image... Um, or you guys, if you guys have seen the image, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, the concept art, yellow planet, white atmosphere, and it's got a bit, a few green areas on it. So that is exactly what I'm basing mine off right here. So looking good. I'm going to make the yellow a little more bright. There we go. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. I'm really liking this. So then I'm going to go composition. I'm going to turn it into a gas giant just to get a different texture on it. Because I want that green to sharp as much as possible. So let's keep having a look here. We already had this texture. That's the one we started off with. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to make the green a little brighter just so we can see it easier. There we go. So, here we go. So, let's just keep doing this until we get the green showing up enough. So, okay, a lot of yellow. There's a bit of green there. Now I'll continue going. Come on, give me, a, give me a good one, game. No, not that one. I, that, I hate this. This is the worst one, I think, for all the custom templates. Yeah, I really want them to add more surface textures in. That is something I really, really want. Okay, what about that? Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that. Look at that. So, if I darken the green again. Now, that's looking fine. I like that. There we go. Yeah, really, a massive apology to my voice again. I already said, but... Yeah, sorry if it bothers anyone, but... Okay, there we go. I am really, really happy. That looks awesome. So, there we go. So, the Goblin, TG389. 
there you go added to my custom simulation so or custom solar system so that orbit is pretty much correct 40,000 years that is exactly what the article says it's and, and from the picture the picture that shows its orbit on the article I'm looking at that literally looks perfect with the way I've done it here so yeah I'm definitely happy with the way that has gone you know, I'll, I'll leave a link, like I said, I'll leave a link um, to the article I'm looking at down below in the comments. So you guys can have a look at, like, the concept art I was looking at. And there's also a picture of the yellow planet I based it off of in Discord. The, the concept art isn't on the, um, it isn't on the, the news article because the concept image is a Twitter thing. But, yeah, if you're in my Discord, um, just scroll up in the general chat and you'll see um, at 4.32 a.m. on UK time, it was posted by Audion Guy. So, yeah. It is in the Discord here on the general chat. So just scroll up and you'll see it. But yeah, that concept looks really, really cool. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with the way I've based mine off in Universe Sandbox here. So yeah, there we go. That is my custom goblin object. So yeah, TG387. That is my custom version of it with the white atmosphere, the yellow surface with the like the darker green and then the white areas. I am re That looks really, really cool. And then I'll see the custom yellow trail. So a massive thanks to Mr. Mislot again for helping me build or um, not help me for making this himself so yeah massive thanks that yellow trail looks really cool so we now have a yellow trail object in the solar system oh it looks really cool but yeah there we go so yeah my custom solar system has just got a massive amount better with that that is a nice addition indeed so yeah that is everything for today's video guys so yeah if you want to also participate in that competition literally just make the object make your own version of this object and then send it to me and then i'll include them all in one simulation and then we can do the video on which one's the best so yeah that is everything guys so if you um, enjoyed this video even though my voice kind of sucks today if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers because we are we are gaining we've we've passed 4,700 now and we're climbing still very very quickly so a massive thank you to everyone as always also if you haven't subscribed like i said um join the channel now helps on the way to 5,000. it's much much appreciated and also let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video as well guys because it really helps the channel out a lot and yeah that is everything so yeah, I'm really interested to see what designs you guys make for the goblin here. And yeah, there we go. If you think any, if there's any improvements to the orbit I could do, let me know. But from the concept um, art of its um, orbit, this is pretty much perfect. Like I've got 40,000 years. Looks all good to me. But if there's anything I've done wrong, let me know. But yeah, that is everything. So I'm going to go ahead and save this simulation. Like so. There we go. Replace and done. So awesome. There we go. So if you guys want this object, I can give it to you if you want. But yeah, I want to see what um, objects you guys make first. But yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.